in this episode I'm, I would like to uh, discover what people think about COVID-19 what people having and facing problems and difficulties in the daily routine life and well in my life I never see this um, crazy in, in the stores HEVs to get uh, food for us um, in this particular uh, store we're getting really low uh, customers and then uh, I saw a lot of stores selling that they, they increase the, the prices on the items so I feel like really that's that's not good for us the the store increased the, the the prices I am really afraid to take my kids uh, out of my house so all my three kids are staying at home thank you very much I appreciate it thanks a lot my name is Joe and uh, in this epidemic situation, what is the problems in your daily life? Uh, it affects my salary and my paycheck. Uh, probably the money, it, you know, not being able to do it. Yeah, you uh, limited to what you can get right now. Everything's gone from the stores. So, you know, you just have to do what you can. All right. Thank you very much. I really appreciate your time. Hi, my name is Joe Green. Uh, uh, Mr. Joe Green, uh, I would like to know that uh, regarding this uh, situation like COVID-19, uh, what is significant change in your daily routine life? Uh, just having to be careful where I go, what I touch, make sure not to touch my face. Uh, you know, I don't think I'm at risk, but I have to be careful with my wife uh, because uh, she has a weaker immune system than I do and uh, just need to be careful. I'm just, uh, I'm not really buying that much and I'm not really uh, going to too many places. I'm limiting my movements and even more so now. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Hello, how are you doing, sir? Good. And I would like to know that in this epidemic situation, what is your problems regarding coronavirus daily routine life? For me, I'm living day by day. Uh, taking it one day at a time and leaving it all in God's hands. Really nothing. I do th what I do every day. Get up, work hard, uh, take care of my family, vote, and pay taxes. Thank you. Friends, right now I'm at a local grocery store. Hello friends. Good afternoon. I would like to tell you about the problems we are facing. It's called normally coronavirus. As you all know, the number of cases increasing day by day in United States like the most spreadful source of uh, the virus is the money because it revolves in everyone's hands so we are using some precautions we are using some gloves some masks but normally the most necessity items like the uh, the masks and the gloves these things are out in the convenience they shut down some uh, bars and restaurants but they're not shutting down the gas stations so we are, we guys are here to serve and we're probably serving the our community well i mean obviously going to the grocery store has been very intense um i am staying home with my kids and um that's the extent of what i've seen i'm trying to stay in as much as possible um, obviously coming here and seeing you guys do this video and, and, uh, and seeing all the extreme cases online has been a little um, disheartening. Um, what kind of problem you are facing in your day by day routine life? Just that I can't really go out to do anything other than grocery shopping or get gas or maybe take a little drive, walk in the neighborhoods um, most everything's shut down and uh, my kids aren't in school so I'll be doing homeschooling Thank you. who I'm talking Chloe Chloe would you please tell me in this scenario of uh, COVID-19 uh, what kind of problem you are facing in your daily routine life well we can't go anywhere, and at work we have to clean stuff even more than we usually do. And we have to look, wear gloves now all the time. And our business has been down since 
all of that has happened. And it's really inconvenient at the grocery store because you can only go in so many people at a time. And uh, what is your uh, difficulties you are facing in your personal life? Um, I mean, I can't really go see my dad too much since I'm at work because if I get it, he can't have it because he has the existing conditions and he's over 60, so I don't want to stay in contact with him too much. He's had cancer before, so he took chemo and all of that, so... So you are worried about uh, his uh, immune system? Yes. Yeah, it's not too good, so... Thank you very much, sir. Yeah. Okay. So, folks, did you see what kind of problem people facing uh, due to coronavirus, uh, COVID-19? So, you will see some more. Uh, I will talk to some more people regarding this coronavirus and difficulties and hardship they are facing in their daily routine life. So, my name is Bob. Would you please tell me uh, what kind of problem you are facing in your daily life because of the COVID-19? Not a one. I don't have not one. Why is that? <laughs> I work in a lumber yard. I sell wood. I'm not dealing with the public. <laughs> if a termite has COVID-19, then I have a problem. Okay. To who I'm talking to? Uh, Lauren. Lauren, uh, would you please tell me because uh, this is a college town and uh, it's early closing college or something. So what kind of situation you are facing uh, regarding uh, coronavirus or COVID-19? Um, really, I'm just worried about my family and like my grandma and grandpa. I can't really go and see them. Um, and then traveling back and forth to get my stuff from my dorm room. Um, my car is not big enough for my mini fridge, so I have to make multiple trips and it's kind of inconvenient. And it's um, sad because I really like the college life and so the semester is ending early and... How long it will gonna take? Um, we're done for the semester. All the classes are online now, so um, everything's basically canceled. Yeah. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Well, I'm Thank talking. you. Will Herbst. Will Herbst, would you please tell me what kind of difficulty you are facing regarding COVID-19 uh, about your college or closing early or something like that? Would you please share something about it? For sure. Um, yeah, it just sucks. Um, we, we were really looking forward to having a few events that we're going to do, uh, especially with our fraternity. And now it's all it's all canceled. So And yeah, it just it really sucks that I don't know if it's even that bad, so um, yeah, we're just kind of, I mean, and because and, eventually people are going to, you know, see how bad it is actually, and it's not going to be that bad, and I think people will recover, and I think we'll be fine. We are, we're taking, we'll come back, we have an extended spring break, and then we're coming back um, to do online, I guess we're not coming back, but we're just going to do online classes from our house from now on. All right, thank you very much. Yes, yes, sir. Nick Doxy. And uh, I go to school at Southland. Yeah, spring break still right now, and then online classes for the rest of the semester so yeah I'm, yeah I'm going home uh, this weekend so then I'll be back and then once I get moved out all right thank you very much I appreciate it mr. John due to the cases of the coronavirus increasing the county's making us shut down by a curfew hours so now we get to close at seven o'clock every day Monday through Friday and Saturday and Sunday and uh, is it change your daily routine, personal life? Well, yeah, it means more hours I get to spend home with my kids. How many kids you have? Two. We can't go outdoors. Everything's locked down. So you are happy? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's nice to be able to go home at decent hours again instead of the extra hour of being at work. But, hey, I don't know. I mean, I could get sick tomorrow and be down with this virus too. So at least our county's doing something about it. Thank you very much for time and I will try to give you uh, information about your thinking about the COVID-19. Keep washing your hands and uh, try to put on mask on your face. Please do not forget to subscribe, like and share. Thank you very much for watching.